Hi, what's up guys? I'm Shauqi from Lajn Effects and in this tutorial today we will learn how to create one of the fastest slideshows ever on After Effects. Yes, say goodbye to the boring work of cloning compositions, pre-compositions for every photo and every footage you have in your project window. More than that, you can get rid of that boring text layer that you are obliged to update for every photo. Look at this. I have this main composition that I prepared and if I duplicate it, one, two, three, four, five with control D. After that, I create a new composition. Let's say the duration is one minute, main composition. And what I will do, I will drag all my cloned composition here. And look at this. First one, second one, third, fourth. So let's move on and uh, create a new project. In our new project, uh, first of all, we'll start by importing all of our images uh, into our uh, project window. We'll create a new composition, a new composition, let's rename it images. Uh, the duration, for example, here, let's uh, make it 20 seconds. Uh, we'll drag and drop all the images into our new composition. Uh, right click on all the new composition and transform and fit to comp. So we will have all our images uh, one by one. They are fitting our comp size. After that, we'll uh, put the player head here on the first second but we can enter the value, uh, the numeric value straight here. So one, zero, zero. So at that, at one second, we'll uh, control shift and D. So we uh, just cut all the layers. So we'll have all the layers that we have here with one second as duration. Uh, after that, we will drag the layers one by one like this. The idea behind this is to have for every new second, new layer, like this. Okay, uh, now we create a new composition. It will be our master composition. So we'll rename it master. Uh, the duration here may be maybe eight seconds. We'll drag our images composition here straight into our master composition and we'll create a new adjustment layer. Rename this adjustment layer action, for example. Uh, click on that layer and right click and we'll add a slider control. This slider control, we can rename it selector. And the idea or the trick behind this tutorial is how to assign for uh, every value on this slider, for example, one, two, three, four, we'll have a new image, we'll show a new image. So we will lean on the time remapping properties of the images. Uh, the concept is to let the player head here read every time a new image. So we will send the player head, for example, with the slider to the first one, second one, third one, fourth one. For that, what we will do, we'll select all the layers here and uh, here at the first second, we'll just drag that here. So we'll have at one, we'll have our first image, two second, we'll have second, third and so on. Okay, going back to our master composition here, right click, time remapping, freeze frame okay and now we will link with alt press it on the keyboard select the action layer and take the pick whip till the slider after that what we will have here for example first second third and so on okay let's uh, for example put it here on the second image here now we'll add a text layer here. 
uh, we'll add the text a new text layer on our master composition. We'll uh, rename this text layer, uh, for example, uh, title. And uh, let's write here anything, for example, an image title. Okay, maybe the color here we can't we can see it clearly. So what we can do, we add like uh, a new background for our lower third, solid. For example, let's start with this blue color and. Let's resize it. Sorry. Resize it and drag it here. After that, drag it under our text. Check for the formatting of the text. Everything is okay. Let's, for example, here 80, the size. To that, drag it here. Okay. Uh, how to do that, how to let the, this text, the source text, every time is getting the name of the layer. So to do that, we will add an expression to our source text. To do this one, we can just link this source text to the layer name here. And to do that, we can just type this expression, comp, here we mention the name of our images comp images dot layer for now what I will do I will put the layer index for example the first layer I'll put one close parenthesis dot name okay as we can see the source text is getting the layer name so I'll rename the first one for example this one I'll rename it first image I'll rename the first image uh, as painting for example second one will be snowy day the third one city view fourth one field or green field and so on okay going back to our master composition the remaining thing or the remaining trick is to take the value the, to change this well to replace this value of the layer one index by the slider just value so to do that we have to copy this slider for example here we can copy this slide and we we add it here to our composition so we'll add it here for example here we'll rename this variable so selector equal the slider value and here we will replace this standard value or fixed value by the new variable selector okay everything is working fine so now if we drag this action layer here if we for example change to the layer number one which is painting it is getting the name of the layer as the title of the image the third one city view everything is working fine just one more thing like we have to pay attention to this one is for example if we are let's say for example if you are exceeding or giving a value more than the 10 more than 10 so we have more than 10 layers for this one we will have like a problem a little bit that we have to fix it we will get an error message let's do it for example let's put 12 here and we get an error message that means that the player hit is going to the 12 second for example here 12 but with it, without any problem we have a black but the problem here is that there is no layer with the index of 12 
So to do that, we have to catch that error. In order to avoid that error message, here we 